Yo guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. So, what I got here is the IKBC 61 Keys. This is a 2017 model. So the 10th is probably the 10th anniversary, it could be. So as you can see, this is the Poker 2 um, White Cherry MX Rate switches that I got from ViewNet. You guys can buy it online from Lazada. Probably they have a few stocks left. Uh, they have brown switches as well. IKBC CN is China. As you can see, the price is 399 ringgit. I got it from ViewNet. The link is down below. Uh, okay, guys, let's open this dream of a keyboard. I can't wait. What is this? We have two cables. We have the braided one and the silicone one. The braided one is USB A to USB Type C. The non braided one, the silicone is USB Type C to USB Type C. So you can use any Type C cables you have for this keyboard. That is the best part of having the USB Type C. It's like Lego set, right? It's like Very nice colors. Wow, guys. <gasps> it's my baby. See that, guys? I love the sound. See the back part. Poker 2 61 keys mechanical keyboards. Made in China. I don't want to touch that. I don't even know how to use that. Probably have to switch it on or something because everything is on the bottom part. Hmm, okay. We have some rubber feet here. Cool, everything is good. So you can see the alignment of the cable can run across. You can set it which other way you want. This is type C. It's on the right side. Nice. Oh dude looks so good with this table man there's a black color version but i'm going for the white one it looks more low-key compared to look dude that's a joke low-key looks more like a sleeper kind of a low-key keyboard people thought it was a normal keyboard but when they use this and they were like damn and they were like type c bro damn so this is my first time also playing with this so how do you go about with this one? Maybe this way. So, what do you guys think? Oh, that's easy, man. I can use my finger if I wanted to. Okay, it's the red cherry keys, key switch. It's like playing the piano. Pop it in this way. Done. Dude, looks freaking awesome, guys. One red color on the bottom. Control, alternate. I think shift here better. I, I normally use my shift on the left side. Then, so I'm gonna take this out. Ta da! Okay. Damn, they, they said that cherry, bro. Damn. Worth the money. Nice. I think that's about it. Blue? I don't know. I'm just gonna shut up now. <laughs> I'm just gonna let you guys watch the video without me talking.
Acá este. Alright guys, if you guys are wondering, this is a Type-C keyboard, does it work with an iPad Pro? Okay. Comment that. No, it doesn't work, I suppose. Okay, how about typing? It doesn't work, guys, so... Anything about this right now it doesn't work on an iPad. So I'm just wondering, does it work on a freaking PC right now? It doesn't work, guys. So I'll take this out, plug it in, in back. Let's see. Nope, it's not detecting anything, which is a bummer. So I'm gonna try out on the big PC now. Let's go. Okay guys, it works fine. Um, I just keyed my password with this keyboard. As you can see, the cable runs on the right side. It's a bit awkward. <laughs> Man. Like, okay. I would want it to be that way, but it's weird. It's like forced cable that way. Ah, <sighs> okay. So if it runs this way, it goes all the way back that way. And this is my previous keyboard. It's a big ass different guys. I mean, literally the number pad, uh, it's, it's like they just cut off the number pad. Is it weird that you're buying a no keypad is more expensive compared to a uh, full size keyboard? And second, I think because of the demand of course. But here, um, see that? It's so damn nice and clicky and it's high up compared to my previous keyboard. I know this is a, like a jelly bean keyboard, which I still like and love to use this because it feels like a typewriter kind of keys. And um, it's not bad, it's still clicky and responsive, but this one is, I always wanted to have something that is more tactile. Getting the Red Cherry keyboards, um, it's always a dream for me to get it, so. Yeah, you know guys. Wait guys, I just, I forgot to tell you guys. In order for you guys to use the arrow keys, you can see the logo over there, the arrow keys, and the delete key, right over there. You guys just need to press FN, and that's it. You can use the arrow key to move around, just like so. You can move around, just like that, okay? Pretty simple. All right guys, what I noticed just now, when I was pressing caps lock, it turns blue, nice. So an FN, a right shift to, FN right shift to switch program layer. Space LED color. And now it's off. So press FN control, right? Okay. It's red color. You press the key to program, right? LED on space bar blinking. It's not blinking key in the program content and then press the end again got blue then press fm mode through to quit program mode red light space bar off i don't know lah guys it's a weird ass keyboard i don't need to know that Anyways, let's test out the um, whatever that we can type on.
Dang it, professional. So I'm going to play around with this one for a minute or two then I give my thoughts on the later video. Hopefully you guys enjoy this video, give a thumbs up and support my channel. And if you guys are planning to buy this, you guys can get the link down below. Peace.